Fireworks here to play. Well, hello again, everybody. This is Papa Smurf here at MiniWarGaming.com. I had a very interesting assignment just uh, recently. I was asked to build uh, a building that had been partially destroyed by fire. And this is what I came up with. See that roof? There's a great big gaping hole in it. This is an example of a building, and I've seen many buildings like this out in the real world. The firemen were able to put the fire out before the fire totally demolished the building, but not before it almost destroyed the roof, as you can see. And you can also see the smoke damage that uh, has occurred as the, as the fire and the smoke effects came out of the windows and the door. And I guarantee you, not a match or a candle or a blowtorch or anything to uh, create this charred wood was used. That is only paint effect. And I'm going to show you how I did that. But for anyone who would like to try this project, just a small word of warning. Constructing this wooden roof is very time consuming, but it was fun. Okay, let's get started. The main beam that holds up the roof is given uh, an old weathered look and a charred look by cutting all kinds of notches along the edge as well as slicing it with the knife slightly along its whole length and crisscrossing it and then sanding it slightly with a sanding block because in a fire there aren't tiny little shards sticking out, they're all burned away. So we can't have those. And that's all there is to the main beam. I find that uh, when I'm doing this kind of a project with a wooden roof, that it's extremely time consuming. So what I suggest is that you process as much of your materials in advance, like this. This handful here that I have, I had twice that when I started. Now, half is left. But I cut the, the ends off, the sticks, I pre-paint them, as you can see. And then I have some material to work with. From this point on, after we've got all the roof rafters uh, glued on and a fascia board along one side and at least three boards glued on. Then it, uh, it starts to get a little bit more time consuming because from now on the boards have to be notched, cut, painted in a special way to depict the fire effects. And I especially like this part right here where the fire has burned a hole right through the roof. Roof rafters and all. It's all gone. And so I put little pieces around there just to show what's left after the fire has burned uh, the roof. So okay, we're totally ready for the next step. To help with the painting effect of the uh, roof boards, I lay these uh, sticks down on a flat surface and I paint them cinnamon brown on one side. And after they've dried, I flip them over on that same flat surface and I paint them black. And I make sure that I paint along the sides here so that some of the paint will creep underneath the piece of wood and I get this effect. And I like it, so that's why I do it. And here we are. Well, we've come to the end of our project and we have this 
spectacular result. There's the roof as it fits on this particular building. The building itself didn't take very long. I mean the walls didn't. They went up in short order, but the roof itself is quite time consuming. I'll get back to that. I have more to say about that roof. But what I'd like to say is that the roof reminds me so much of pictures that I have seen about the city of Detroit. Detroit, what a place. What was once the richest city in America now has the title of the most dangerous city in America. After several decades of decline, Detroit is a shadow of its former self. There are 70,000 abandoned buildings in Detroit, and many of them are in this state of decay. The murder capital of America. It's too bad. I didn't get my inspiration from Detroit to build this. I used to travel in another city uh, years ago. On one street that I would travel through, every fourth or fifth building looked exactly like this. Boarded up, burnt out. It wasn't Detroit. I've never been there. It was another city that shall have to remain anonymous. I'd like to leave with one tip for building this roof. It was all made out of wood. And it, as I mentioned, it was quite time consuming. But to cut down on the time, my suggestion is to do a whole handful of sticks at once. Cut all the tips off, which are rounded, cut them off, lay them out flat, and paint them all. You'll need them. Make them into these. And for a roof like this, you may need all of these sticks, because there's a lot of wood there. Well, in terms of mini wargaming, this doesn't actually fit in, does it? Because there's no openings anywhere in this building to put one of those space marines. However, it is quite a conversation piece. And I know this model fits in somewhere out there. Anyway, I had a lot of fun constructing this. And I think you would too if you decided to tackle a project like this. Anyway, that's my, my take on it. This is Papa Smurf. I'm glad you could join me for this little project. And I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next video.